What's up? Hello Stance, back for another video. I haven't made one in a long time, so everyone keeps asking me to keep doing updates, updates, and make more videos. Sadly, I don't have the truck today. It needs work done to it, um, so it's not out right now. But What's up? Tim's here. I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, for those of you new, he's the one that had the Lancer that was on the channel. We made a lot of videos of those. If you haven't seen any of those, go check them out. But speaking of the Lancer and him, while we're on the subject, it's gone. It's gone. Tim has a new car. New used. Newly used car. He traded it up for upgrade. Upgrade. <laughs> he traded it up for a BMW. Um, so if you guys follow the channel, you'll realize this is the same BMW that my other friend had, Brendan. They just ended up trading because he wanted rear wheel drive. He was tired of front wheel drive life, so. Started at Knox. Yeah, so now he can drift. So this is his. I'll go over it. Uh, I don't know how much you've seen this car, but if you want to see any of this car, this is the first time it's on my no, second time it's on my channel. But if you want in depth videos, go over to my friend's channel, Mayhem Garage. I'll link you down below. Link you down below, Brendan. So that way. You guys can go see what he's done to this car. He's did a lot of work to the motor um, to get it to run up to par. So go give him a shout out. Go give him a subscribe. That'd be awesome. Help him out. Um, but yeah, Tim's had it for how about how long have you had it now? Like a week and a half. Week and a half. Probably a little bit longer. I think maybe two weeks. Um, but uh, he hasn't really done much to it. Part of the deal in the trade was he got new tires. Which are starting to get pretty low already, but you got new tires with it. Um, to pass inspection, because we need inspection stickers here. He bought brand new tail lights, um, all LED, which they look pretty cool. They're different from what they used to be on there. Boring. Yeah, boring. Um, he did a lot of little work to it, like put the third brake light back up and did some interior shit, but. Nothing like crazy or anything. Just pretty much just get it ready so he can start driving it. Swap the hood um, back out. Yeah, but I don't think they saw the other hood. Oh, the blue hood. Yeah, the blue. There was there was a blue hood on it, but now it's black again. So. Fuck, Next, I think he's going for tent if I'm not wrong. Tent, and then I'm gonna try and save and get a supercharger. Okay, well. But that's tent and supercharger or turbo kit. I don't know what he's going with yet. Supercharger, super. Well, supercharger, I guess. So, that's his car, that's his update. So, Tim now has a BMW, so if you ever see him on this channel, this is his car now, it's no longer the Lancer. Um, but, I figured I'd do an update video on my car. Um, there's been some stuff that I've done to it since you guys last saw it when I first got the car. Um, I don't even know. I'm just gonna start going over it because I don't remember what I was I did in the last video. So I guess we'll just start from the front and then go back and then work our way inside. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys already saw the side plate mount. Um, I'll just go through everything though. But headlights are Winjet headlights. I'm butchering that. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's called Winjet. Um, I got HIDs inside, so it's all bright as shit. Um, Switchback LEDs, so they're orange for directionals, but they stay white all the time. So the whole front end matches with the white color look. Um, going back, blacked out or smoked out, I should say, uh, side marker lights, because I didn't like the orange. I hated having orange on my cars. It doesn't match anything at all. Um, I'm 15% window tint on the sides and the back. So. Not super dark, but yeah, it'll be darker soon. I'm not quite satisfied with it, so. Never satisfied. Never satisfied. Um, the back is what I did most that, I guess you could say. This is a, a full carbon fiber trunk. I got rid of the stock trunk, so now it's all carbon fiber. Um, I plan on putting a big wing on it and stuff like that, so. Uh, my last trunk had the stock spoiler going across this, so I already had the holes inside of it. So this one's just a nice clean trunk so I can go ahead and mount my spoiler when I'm done with it. Um, new exhaust system actually. I know last time I showed you guys I had the Spec D exhaust system but I um, Didn't like I rat. put a yeah it got really raspy when I put um, 
uh, what the hell are they called? Unequal length headers on it um, to make it sound more like a Subaru, which is Tomei, by the way, as a Tomei. So for after doing that, I did um, a cat back in Vadia and one exhaust on it because uh, I just the, the other one was just spec was just too raspy for me afterwards and I didn't like it. So I went and spent the money and got the Invadia. You can see it right there. So there's the exhaust system. Tail lights are Volante tail lights, the sequentials. So they go in like a sequential look to them back and forth when you turn the blinkers on or the hazards. Um, all the, the reverse light is also, I think it's Volante as well. I don't really remember. Um, all LEDs so that way that's all smoked out and it matches everything in the rear end. Um, I think that's pretty much for outside. I don't really think I did much to it. Still running stock tires. Um, well, actually, those are the tires I got with them. I don't even know what they are. Uh, yeah, BF Goodrich's G Force Comp 2s. Uh, I bought those with the car, but they're getting pretty long. I need new tires soon. Uh, stock rims are still on it, stock brakes. I don't think there's anything really else on this outside of the car that I've done besides that. That's the original antenna, yeah. Uh, interior, we'll go inside, especially because the car is racing up the hill. So interior, um, I got this uh, reverse lockout anodized aluminum uh, red to match the red stitching everywhere. Um, so that looks a little bit better. It needs an aftermarket shift now, it looks weird with it. So I got that. Um, LED lights all in the interior so it's brighter in here at night time. Um, that's just uh, to hold my phone. I'm tired of just laying it down anywhere. So I just magnetize my phone I just plug it in. Um, gauge, which is kind of hard to see, but the gauges are different now. Or the faceplate, I guess you would call it for it. Uh, I just switched that over actually last night. Um, if you know what the stock FRS looks like, you can see it's completely different. It's supposed to uh, refine it and make it look, look more like a Lexus. So, let me see if I turn the lights on. Nah, it doesn't really pick it up in the camera, but... Especially because it's bright out, but uh, it changes everything. Um, I already showed you guys these side pieces before. I remember I had those. Um, they're just supposed to make your... They're leather to make your knee hard. comfortable. Yeah, it's not hard plastic, so that way you can lean your knee against it. It won't, like, kill your leg. Um, I think I already showed you guys the 86 badge block off plate because uh, I don't have leather seats in here so there's no uh, heat warmers, heated seats in here so. Other than that I don't think anything else was done on the inside either. Get your sub back in. Yeah I have a subwoofer in the trunk but other than that like, there's nothing else done. We'll pop the hood though, wherever it is, there it is. So, go under here, like I said, I have Tomei headers, uh, unequal length headers going down, catless. Um, on the inside, I have a Grimspeed cold air intake, which cleans it up and opens up a lot, honestly, which I love. It works out good, works perfectly. I have no issues with it. Um, I don't really know if you can see. Yeah, there you go. There's the headers down there. You can kind of see the edge of them. Um, oh, I also, one of the biggest things, which I don't know why I forgot, is um, it is tuned. I have the open flash tuner, so it's running a stage 2 tune right now. Um, eventually I'm going to do more and more work to it. I plan on supercharging it, but that's just a lot of money and time that I don't have right now. So eventually I will upgrade to that and run E85 on flex fuel. Um, because the E85 is kind of a bitch to get around here. So, Pump it out the can. Uh, things to come with this. Wide body, definitely happening. Um, I think I'm going to go with the V1 wide body kit. I don't really like the big bulky looks of the other ones. I like just the simple flare and the wider tires. And I'm going to bag it so it sits lower. Um, I'm definitely going to do a carbon uh, hood to match the rear. Just haven't gotten that yet. I will probably get that this summer, actually. And possibly even the budget, because I'm trying to move. I might also get the wing too that I want to get. Uh, we'll see. 
and after that we'll start working on uh, dropping it on bags and wide, wide bodying it. So. That's the guy I spit on. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. So that's pretty much it for my car. Uh, I think I went over everything I did to it. Not a whole lot, but stuff gets expensive. I'm sure you guys that know who have 86s out there, it gets really expensive. Um, it's still pretty much winter time right now, so it's freezing out. But uh, just want to give you an update on Tim's car. There'll be more videos of this, hopefully this summer. We're going to be doing more stuff, more drifting, more messing around. Um, he kind of just got it, so we haven't really done anything with it yet besides the taillights, which I showed you. And you guys do keep asking me for more videos, so I'm going to try to post every time I put something on this. I'll try to update you guys more often on it, so I don't have to do just one video of updating everything. I'll post more often, um, especially with stuff if you guys don't know how to do stuff and I put it on my car. Then it'll be like a tutorial video on how to actually put something on the car if you guys have no idea. Um... And same thing with the Beamer. Do the same thing with that, I guess. Um, Carbon gang. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I will fix my truck. And I haven't, I don't, yeah, no, I definitely didn't do anything to my truck. Because I've been focused on putting money into that. So there's nothing that's done to my truck that you guys haven't already seen. Uh, I put the cap back on it for this winter. But like I said, it's broken down right now. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just blew the water pump. So I need to... Replace that, which sucks. Or it's a freeze plug. It's definitely not a freeze plug. It's just a water pump that needs to be replaced because it's oh. leaking antifreeze everywhere when I started it up. So, yeah, once I get that going, I'll make another video on that uh, showing you guys how the POR15 or POR15 for people that hate when I say it like that, uh, how that held up on the truck because it did hold up pretty good. So, I'll give an update on that as soon as I get that running again. But. Thanks for watching guys, comment, like, subscribe, see ya.